We've already seen 1,000 players depart the PSPC. We're into the money, and a host of Platinum Pass winners have made it through to day four. I'm more than min cash. Woohoo! I'm short stacked, but I'm just gonna play each hand that comes to me the best I can, and no fear. Now the task is to play poker. Maybe it will be a short day, because I'm short stacked, but it's not over yet. Now the seasoned pros in the field are looking to take control. I think everybody else is sort of eyeing the money jumps a little bit, and I'm going to try to take advantage of them. You know, we're all sharks, and there's more fish in the pond, and it's exciting for me to, to really embrace these big moments. I respect everybody, and like I'm not saying there's any soft spots, but uh, it's anyone's game right now, you know? We play the win! Make it shy, don't say this all again. Hello once again, welcome to the Bahamas and the PokerStars Players No Limit Hold'em Championship. This is day four of five. It's the penultimate day of the biggest 25K event in poker history. 38 players remain, and today we're gonna play down to the final table. I am James Hartigan alongside Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. And Maria Ho. Hey. I hope you enjoyed our world-famous bubble coverage yesterday. The first thing said about the bubble, Joe, is we knew this one was going to be meaty, but it went long. It took a while, but also, I don't think it took as long as it could have. I think that it was just about the right amount of time that it should have taken, considering it was a $25,000 bubble. And, Maria, the post-bubble bust-out bonanza was also pretty epic. I mean, what was it, losing uh, 43 players in 30 minutes? Yeah, there were just so many short stacks that were just trying to hang on, and then afterwards, they just had to go with pretty much any two. So let's remind ourselves of where we are with prize money right now. A total prize pool in this event of more than 25 million dollars. The next player out is going to receive 86 and a half K. So we are very close to paying out six figure scores to all of the remaining players. And it goes without saying, Joe, that these caches mean the world to the Platinum Pass winners. We've still got nine of them in the field. Yeah, so now it's beyond the cash meaning something for the Platinum Pass winner. Now you can start to think about, oh my God, am I going to win life-changing money, 5.1 million? There's no one left in this tournament who that wouldn't be life-changing money for. Well, shifting our focus to the professional players, Maria, I understand that the game is all about the money and everyone's got their eyes on making a seven-figure score. Does this event also come with some prestige, though? Do you think there's desire to make the final table to win that trophy? To win this event, your name would be in the history books. This is the biggest 25K ever. And I feel like even for the most successful professional left in this field, they definitely want that title. Well, no one wants it more than Griffin Benja. We spoke to him down on the floor. I feel great. Um, you know, I've had a real pretty uh, pretty breezy uh, few days. Felt really comfortable at the table. Felt uh, felt good about the players I've been playing with. Um, felt really confident. Um, you know, this is a, a stage that is obviously one of the biggest in poker, but having been on sort of the biggest stage before, uh, you know, it feels like you know, I've been here and I can, I, I can do this, and I think that's, uh, that's maybe an edge that I have over some of the, the, the rest of the players in the field. Well, Griffin headlines the lineup at our main feature table. He's joined by Talal Shakirchi plus American pros Jake Schwartz and Dan O'Brien, and the table chip leader, Jack O'Neill. Don't forget everyone's favorite player, seat open. Blinds 25,000, 50,000 with a 50K big blind ante. Action will be on Talal Shakirchi. Shakirchi, Shakirchi. He folds. After that introduction. Jake Schwartz is out. Philippe Oliveira and Jack O'Neill pass. Round to Griffin Benja. Paint and paint. Let's paint. King Jack on the button. All right, Dan, take it easy. It'll be your turn soon enough. 110. 
a raise to 110,000. Mark Perot in the big blind, King Seven. Well, we know it's Domination Nation, but typically King High is good enough for a defend against the button raise. Perot does call, heads up to the flop. Queen eight seven, bottom pair for Perot. How do they always do it? Checks to Benja, who checks behind. Turn card is a jack. Griffin now a three to one favorite, but Perot does have the flush draw. J for justice. No delayed C bet from Griffin. We go to the river, which is the four of hearts. So anytime anybody wants to bet, just go ahead. Perot checks a third time. Surely Griffin is going to bet. 130. 130,000 into 295,000. Pro with a second from bottom pair. He folds. Nice. Griffin Benja now playing a stack of 1.9 million. Well, let's head out into the field. Jackie Burkhart started the day as a short stack, and she is now all in and behind. She needs a five, six, nine, or diamond to survive. I've still never used my one time. I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Nope. Ah. I'm going to use it next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jackie Burkhart eliminated in 38th place. There has been no player in this field that's embraced the spirit of this event like Jackie Burkhart. She may not have won life-changing money, but her life will never be the same. Cash is out for more than $86,000. She won her platinum pass by telling her mother's story. And of course, she'll be giving 10% of her prize money to the Alzheimer's Association. Jackie's not the only elimination to tell you about. Over at the secondary feature table, Martins Adonaya has just KO'd Jonathan West. Once again, the sun sets on the West. And we have another platinum pass winner all in. Michael Robionic has shoved the flop. Decision on Luigi Noppers. Shot clock running. He faults. The shove gets through. Robiotic indicating good laydown. Qualified for free via an online free roll. That zero dollars in winnings is about to change in a big way. So we have eight Platinum Pass winners remaining in the PSPC. Most are pretty short stacked, especially Mark Rivera and Michael Robionic. Ramon Kalilas and Makija Botikovsky are among the tourney chip leaders. They're fifth and ninth, respectively, on the overall leaderboard. Scott Baumstein and Yanis Leperis are the current bosses. Both have more than 4.2 million, nearly 85 big blinds each. We're heading back now to the main feature table, where the action's on Jake Schwartz. Go, Merman. Ace, king of diamonds. Do I have to say he should raise? He should raise. He raises to 105,000. Ace Jack for Felipe Oliveira. All in. And he shoves. Probably had to do it with 14 big blinds, but it was close. How much is it? Griffin Benja has queens. Seven some. And this Seven. is a reshove. All in. Sure enough. So action folded. Back around to the original Razor. What does Schwartz do now? It's actually closer than it looks, but suited? I think it's a call. I fold, 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 fold. I guess he's folding. I think it's fine. They're just tens, man. Stop wasting everyone's time. <laughs> you can call for the sweatboard? Huh? Or you, you don't mind? Whatever you want, man. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 9, 8. I'm just going to shoot you through the wall in the river anyway. <laughs> Counter-Strike. <laughs> I will have to say, though, I think you folded one of your outs. It's true. <laughs> Oliveira at risk and behind. But there's an ace on the flop. Math is idiotic. Super annoying.
10 on the turn, and Oliveira just has to fade a queen on the river to survive. I think the counter-terrorists might have this one. Off target. <sighs> <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> Don't have it anymore. Poker can be a real frag sometimes. Oliveira playing close to an average stack. Benja down to 1.2 million. Meanwhile, Tony Gregg is out in 36th place. End boss ended. And there's another all in across the room. Super Bowl winner Evan Mathis is the at-risk player, but he is ahead. It's his ace jack versus Yanis Leparis's queen eight. Ah, oh, Leparis pairs his eight on the flop. This could be it for our last professional athlete standing. 10 on the turn. Mathis needs an ace or a jack. It's a king on the river, and we lose the ex-NFL player from the PSPC. He's our 35th place finisher. And Yanis Leparis now has close to 4.5 million. He takes the chip lead with 34 players remaining. Mathis, hit the showers. We've seen four eliminations so far here on day four of the PokerStars Players No Limit Hold'em Championship, including Platinum Pass winner Jackie Burkhart. Her run in this record-breaking event may be over, but she's still on a high. It's been amazing. Best time of my life. It's paradise, and the whole thing's a free roll, so I was just excited to have a family vacation and a shot. I think I went as far as I could with my stack and my skills. I'm very happy. I mean, you don't like losing your last hand, but I like my spot. I play it the same way again. I have a lot to learn, and most of the people in the field are better than me, but I'm no slouch, and I'm getting better all the time. Boom! One of my main goals of this tournament was to observe the best and learn as much from them as I could, even when I'm not in hands. It was just amazing. I worth it all. Jackie is such a ray of sunshine. She's actually made me not mind that I haven't been outside in six days. She will be missed for sure. But silver linings, we have got platinum pass winner Michael Robionek coming to the feature table now. Welcome. Hey, how are you? Good no, to see fun. you. Good. Thank you. What's your name? Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Michael, that was the Godfather's name. Be careful, everyone. This guy's the same name as the Godfather. Action here is on Jack O'Neill. No Godfather called Jack. He folds. <clears throat> nope. Griffin Benja is out. And Michael Robionek has Queens. And I love the fact he's using his Platinum Pass as a card protector. Sick brag. Raise 160. Makes it 160,000. Luigi Noppers with King Six of Clubs. Noppers sounds like the kind of restaurant that makes its employees wear pieces of flair. Welcome to Noppers! He folds. Action now on Mark Perot from Canada. Do you know about how much you play? This much. Okay. It's actually not enough to make this call. Well, looks like he's coming in with King Nine of Hearts on the button. Around to Jake Schwartz in the big blind. He calls as well with pocket threes. Easy over call in this spot. The flop is seven, six, five. Queens still good. Action checked to the pre-flop aggressor. And I think a chunky C-bet here is just fine. I bet it's 300,000. 300K into 570K. Gets a fold from Perot. Schwartz has got a pair and a bad straight draw. He folds as well. Well done, Michael Robionic. Good start for the qualifier up on the main stage.
There was a human lie detector challenge on Twitter. I joined it. Daniel Negreanu asked three questions. One of those will be a bluff. And I have to be the lie detector, the human lie detector, to find out what's the wrong answer. What is the worst thing anyone has ever written about you? What is your worst habit? Tell me about your worst ever date. <laughs> <laughs> I find the right answer. I was going to say one, I switched it. <laughs> got a ticket for the free wall and got the platinum pass. Then the journey starts to uh, see all the wonderful pros, the wonderful characters, wonderful players. And the support we give to the Platinum Pass owners was so amazing. The Platinum Pass group to uh, make a community, to meet others so smart and people with such a high class. It was a dream of my lifetime. I'm touched he said it was the dream of his lifetime, even though he met us. Well, we've just had a flurry of eliminations from the PSPC. Among the players recently eliminated, Team Platinum's Mikita Bodziakowski and American pro Dan O'Brien. And we potentially have a three-way all-in at one of the outer tables. Pavlov and Jatin have both shoved. And the decision is on Ramon Kalilas. This table is a mess. Pavlov's shove was for 1.4 million. Jatin's all-in is for 3.1 million. Ramon has got both players covered. Five. Four. Kalilas faults, showdown. It's a race. Pavlov's jacks flipping against Jatin's ace-queen. And there's a queen on the flop. Pavlov knows he's drawing thin. He's drawing thinner now. Jack of diamonds no longer any good. The river is the ten of spades. And that'll do it for Atanas Pavlov from Bulgaria. Out in 30th place. Jatin wins a huge pot. While Pavlov receives 105k. With that hand, Farry Jatin has just reclaimed the chip lead. He is at the top of the leaderboard with 6.3 million, more than 100 big blinds. Scott Baumstein and Yanis Leperis have dropped down the top 10, while Jason Kuntz and Jake Schwartz are both on the ascent. 29 players remaining in the PSPC. Make that 28. Philippe Oliveira has just been KO'd. And you're not going to believe this. There's another all-in out in the field. Oliveira, Rivera. It's the era of Veras. Mark Rivera is an 85% favorite to eliminate Sosia Zhang. She has three outs. And she needs to hit on the river. She misses and is out in 28. Not a bad finish at all. Zhang also receives $105,000. Man, oh man, things are really happening fast today. Platinum pass winner Mark Rivera now up to 3.6 million. Meanwhile, we have lost Marvin Rettenmeyer in 27th place. Mad Marvin, more like angry Marvin. Nah, he's fine. And. Adrian Acave from Spain is out. He's our 26th place finisher. So we're down to 25 players already. We are one away from the redraw for the final three tables and one away from another money jump. Love those money jumps. Action on Griffin Benja with Ace King. 600. He raises. It's a virtual all in from Griffin. He leaves himself 20K behind. He does that because of the pay jump. Someone may go broke before him. This time was for you. Bobby Onex out. Six deuce for Noppers. Also taking a bit of time. Not pro faults. Talal Shakurchi has ace jack and calls. Jake Schwartz in the big blind. 
has threes again. <laughs> Don't think he can get involved this time. He faults. I made it. Oh, sweet. So I can fold this. So I can fold this nonsense. It's true. Griffin can still get away from it. The flop. Queen nine six. Ace king still ahead. Shakurchi puts Griffin all in. Well, he's certainly not folding now. So now he's all in. King on the turn, but Talal has outs. Griffin does not want to see a 10 on the river. Yeah, I want to say that King's good for Griffin, but then the 10 comes and I feel terrible. Safe river card, it's an eight. Saw a lot of spots. Huh? I saw a lot of spots Did on you? there. <laughs> Pretty out of line for him to call Talal a cheetah. Oh, you're a funny guy. This game is really putting Griffin through the ringer today. Now playing a stack of 1.4 million. Meanwhile, it looks like we've lost another member of Team Platinum. Zhao Barbosa ran fours into nines. No help on the board. He's out in 25th. Man, I am loving all these six-figure caches. Barbosa was busted by Farid Jatin, and with 24 players remaining, it is redraw time. However, there is still a hand in progress at the secondary feature table. We are on cooler alert. Pedro Padilla has raised with kings. Martins Adonaya has queens. Look at all these kings and queens. It's like Game of Thrones in here. All in. Adonaya shoves. Padilla calls. He'd fit in well on the show. And it is the nation of domination. And the Seven Kingdoms. Adonaya at risk and behind. No help for him on the flop. Or on the turn, he needs a queen on the river. Cersei, Khaleesi, any queen will do. It's a seven. Adonaya is out. Good game, sir. Adonaya, adios. Now it's redraw time. And Pedro Padilla from Brazil now has close to three million. And I would suspect that any second now, Martins will be handing over the platinum pass. Jennifer Carter, heart of yard. He doesn't appear to have it with him. Hmm. So Adonai's chips slide over to Pedro Padilla, one of four platinum pass winners still in with a shot of winning that $5.1 million first prize. Do you want a chance to take on the best in the game? You can. The PSPC is back in 2023 in the Bahamas, and you can win a Platinum Pass for free. Check out the description below for more details. The PokerStars Players No Limit Hold'em Championship is down to its final three tables, and that means there's been a redraw. German Platinum Pass winner Michael Robionek remains on the main stage, but his job just got a whole lot tougher. He's now sharing a table with aggressive chip leader, Farid Jatin. I'm just going with my tunnel vision. Like, no one's going to get in the way of this one. And it's basically the way I've been treating the tournament the whole time from the first hand up, you know? I got to show him, like, show him who the big papa is. So we're getting ever closer to the final table with 23 players remaining in the PSPC. Let's take a look at the full lineup at our new feature table. In addition to chip leader Farid Jatin, we've got another big stack, Jason Kuntz from the USA. Michael Robionic is the shorty. Julian Martini also on the low side. Well, they've been scrambled up a little bit, but we've seen most of these guys before. Lions currently 40,000, 80,000. Robionic will be first to act here. He looks down at pocket nines. his cards with his platinum pass. Starts the hand with fewer than 20 bigs. Kind of an awkward spot with nines. He's got a little too much to shove. All right, what about 60? Just doubles the big blind. Action on Jatin. 
king eight of spades. 1.1, no, 1.2, between that. I don't think Jack can really get involved. The chip leader folds. Jason Koontz has tens. Uh-oh. He can certainly get involved. And he will. A re-raise to 415,000. Folded to Jack O'Neill. He gives up the small blind. Christopher Johnson folds the big blind. It's back on Robbie Onek. This is an all in or fold situation. Nines are going to be flipping some, beat a fair amount, and ahead not very often at all. A lot of folks are going to just rip it in here. I think folding is actually fine. Time's running out. And Robionic makes the right decision. He lays it down. Looks like Robionic Cops' prime directive is laddering. Jason Coots chips up. Robionic now down to 1.16 million. Well, at the outer table, there has been a raise from Yanis Leperis and a call from Louis Bhutan. Action is now on Ramon Kalilas, who is fairly short himself. Good morning. Ramon all in. <laughs> Presented with the red triangle. Le Paris reshoves. Bhutan faults. Le Paris tables tens. Kalilas has Queens. Oh, looking good for a double up. And Queens still ahead after the flop. Well, that's a juicy turn card. Whew. There are now 10 cards that Ramon has to fade. Safe river. It's not often you get a run out like that with queens and you still double up. Well, with that hand, the platinum pass winner will move up the leaderboard. Ramon Kalilas now seventh in chips, but just shy of 2.9 million. Interestingly, the three biggest stacks right now, Jatin, Kuntz, and Schwartz, are all at our feature table. Meanwhile, Luke Marsh, who's currently ranked sixth in chips, is in action at the secondary feature table. You mean Luke Darsh? He's raised to 170,000. Action is on Griffin Benger. All in. He shoves with pocket fours. Action back on Marsh. I think we're likely to see a call. Sure enough, and we are off to the races. Griffin, the at-risk player. Marsh spikes a queen on the flop, and Griffin Benger is now on the verge of elimination. Looking like the end of the road for Griff. The turn card. It's a four! Let's go. Wow. Come on. Benger hits the two-outer. Perfect celebration. And he will double up through Luke Marsh. These flips are unavoidable. You just got to hope you end up on the good end. With that pot, Griffin is now back above average, 2.96 million. Of course, he's been here before. He's had a number of deep runs in major tournaments. And five years ago, he won $1 million on Shark Cage. So the Shark Cage was, you know, survivor kind of thing. The hook of the show was if you're in a hand and you bet the river, you have to put down a bluffer value card. If the other person folds and you were bluffing, 
you know, that person would have to go into this cage that was actually on the stage. Oh my God, it spins and everything. <laughs> it's created a lot of fun banter. This is so lonely and isolating. And really brought the fun into poker. Yeah! No, 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 oh, no, Joe. no, no. <laughs> Every show needs a villain. If you win your table of six, you move on to a final that has eight people left. He shoves! I can't. Griffin calls! Is this the moment we crown our first ever Shark Cage champion? It's a king! Yeah. Griffin's done it! Griffin Benja wins one million dollars! It brought the fun into poker. You know, there's something nice and quite endearing about watching, you know, just people loosen up. King, baby! <laughs> you know, fun is the reason we're here. Nobody started as a professional poker player. They all started because they loved the game. You know, this whole time I thought it was called Shark Tank. And for that reason, I'm out. Well, back on the main stage, it has been folded to Michael Robionek. He has ace, deuce of hearts. And he's already played one time bank card. With his stack in this position, this is a pretty clear shove. No worries. Instead, he opens to 200,000. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly the play. Queen 10 for Julian Martini in the small blind. He could get a call from Queen 10, which he doesn't want. He's also given a great price to the big blind, which he also doesn't want. Martini folds, Jatton in the big. How much you playing total? Mm. A behind? I don't know. He has Robionek dominated with ace eight. And he shoves on him. Now Robionic has to fold. He should have shoved, and yes, in this particular situation, Jatton would have called, and it would have been Domination Nation. But most of the time, decent hands would have folded. But now he has to let this go. So much pressure, so little time. The amateur player against the poker pro with the biggest stack in the room. Good times. Robionic faults. I like the lay down, but after this, he absolutely has to be in shove fold mode. You got it. By comparison. Hmm? You had it by comparison. For sure. How do you beat? Pretty. He had Michael beat too. Who knows, the way Michael played it, maybe it saved him or made him some more money. Well, he now has fewer than 10 big blinds. At the secondary feature table, it is Luke Marsh's turn to be all in. He is shoved with ace three of diamonds. Action is back on Griffin Benja, the original razor. And he calls with ace-queen. Marsh's stack in bad shape, Marsh's hand in bad shape. You can have this one. I have a Totally fair. <laughs> it's easy to say when you have no control whatsoever over the cards that come out. The flop is queen high. It's not looking good for Luke Marsh. The turn card has him drawing dead. Good game, guys. Good luck. Good game, Dirt. You know what? No. Marsh. His name is Luke Marsh. Good game, Luke Marsh. He is our 22nd place finisher. I'll see you. He cashes out for more than 150 grand. And Griffin Bencher is now back up to 3.6 million. Welcome back to the Bahamas, where just 21 players remain in the biggest 25K event of all time, the PokerStars Players No Limit Hold'em Championship. We're heading to the secondary feature table where two of the chip leaders are in action right now. Scott Baumstein opened with Ace-10, and Florian Duter has re-raised with Pocket Jacks. With these stacks being so big, I don't see much more going in pre-flop. Decision on Baumstein. Baumstein's in position. He can call. 
I'm all in. Alternatively, he can shove. That is a huge ramp. And I think Pocket Jacks might have to call. I think Queensy's called already. Jacks, close. Man. To say he doesn't like the situation would be an understatement. That's good. He calls. Holy chips, this pot is big. Nine million in the middle. Scott Baumstein at risk and behind. Scott probably thought he could get him to lay down some better hands. Biggest part of the PSPC so far. And an ace on the flop. Oh, man. So disappointing when you get it in good there. The turn card is a seven. Baumstein survives unless Duta can spike a jack on the river. And the river is a deuce. Baumstein doubles up big time. That's twice he's done something like this. Lucky there. And that hand does a lot of damage to Duta. He's down to 455,000. And Scott Baumstein is now the big chip leader with just over 9 million. It's really unlucky, I'm sorry. That's the game, mate. Translation, I'm raging. Blind still 40-80. Back at the main feature table, action is on Farid Jatin under the gun. Ace five of spades. He raises to 190,000. You can do this under the gun when you're chip leader, but you better be ready for some shorties to shove. Jason Kuntz folds. Jake Schwartz is out. Jack O'Neill wants it go. Christopher Johnson passes. Ace five of clubs for Michael Robionek. No raise. All in. And he shoves. Yeah, he figured out the all in or shove situation. Well done. Oh, Martini's got aces in the big blinds. What in the ever living? This is so unlucky, I'm wondering if Michael Robionic broke a mirror on the last break. Just a call from Martini. Trying to get Jatton to come along for the ride, but no luck. Aces? Oh. At ace five spades. Don't take me that now. Clubs are live. Oh. Not looking good for Michael Robionek. There is one club on the flop. And four is not exactly unhelpful either. Oh, well, nice array of backdoor outs. Two of clubs. <laughs> yep, the two of clubs will be fun. Instead, it's the four of spades. Robionic is drawing dead on the turn. And he is out in 21st place. That size says so much. Good game. Good game, man. Carol, thank you. Thank you. Good game, man. Thank you, mister. Nice playing with you. Thank you, mister. Okay. Thank you. Mister. Yeah, man. Thank you. It was yeah. a pleasure with you. Yeah, good point. Thank you. Yeah, good luck. Thank you too. He even got the dealer. I'm getting misty. Michael Robionek qualified for nothing and cashes out for more than hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Somebody give this guy hundred and fifty grand, huh? Well, we've also lost Luigi Noppers in twentieth place. He'll receive hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. So, two eliminations in quick succession. And Michael Robionek is very happy with his result.
there's no reason to be sad. I won. I already won from the beginning of the first hand because I won a platinum pass. And so I was a winner with the first hand city here. Uh, have a nice trip to the Bahamas, join wonderful people, uh, have a great experience to play with such a players. I love saw lots of pros come and go on my table. I sit a little longer there, so no reason to be sad. I can't wait to see the movie of this. Matt Damon plays Robionic, or I walk. Well, Ramon Kalilas is just three back Kristen Becknell. Do you know what you start with, like 3.5? Can I see your stack, please? You know how little poker players like moving. Kristen has already played one time bank card. I don't know why, but Kalilis feels real strong here for some reason. Five, four. She's going to buy herself another 30 seconds thinking time. She does have him covered. She's letting it go. Something felt fishy. Ramon chips up to nearly three million. Well, we've lost Jack O'Neill in 19th place, and his seat at the feature table will be taken by Griffin Benger. Deal me in here. Don't forget me. Does not want to miss a hand before the blinds come back around. Blinds are up to 50K, 100K. By the way, we've now lost Luis Faria in 18th place, which means we are one away from the redraw. Shields up. Yes, sir. Good, good little three table. Huh? Good little break to three tables and run hot. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Action here on Christopher Johnson. He folds. Julian Martini out. Chatton not going to play this one. Jason Kuntz is on the button and has king deuce of clubs. He raises to 240,000. Makes sense on the button. Jake Schwartz with king four in the small blind. Even against the button raise, I don't think so. And Griffin Benja has king 10 in the big. Stellar hand to defend with. He calls. Heads up to the flop. King 5-4, top pair for both players. Benja with the better kicker. I think Kutz can continue here. I think checking back is also fine. He does continue, 315,000. Kuntz is making a bigger pot here as the non-favorite. Benja calls. Turn card is the ace of diamonds. That might slow things down. Agreed, and I think it's a good card for Kuntz, whether he knows it or not. Benja checks. Kuntz checks behind. River is the nine of hearts. Puts a potential flush out there. Griffin still has the best hand. Checks a third time. Yeah, he's not likely to think Kuntz is this strong. I think checking back is the right play here. Griffin's going to have a ton of aces. All better hands are going to call. No, Jason bets 400,000. And this is one of those better hands that's going to call. There is the call. And Benja will take a million off Kuntz. Look, I make it sound easy, but it's still a slight cooler. Kuntz down to 5.4 mil. Griffin up to nearly 4.8 million. Great day for him so far. And over to the secondary table, where Scott Stewart is flipping for his tourney life. Scott Stewart, a.k.a. your boy Stu. It's his ace nine against Talal Shikurchi's fives. 
He has folded five, folded five, folded nine. No. <laughs> Here comes the flop. Stewart needs an ace or a nine. It's not as bad as a five. Same outs. Six of them. But he doesn't hit. Yeah. Good, guys. And his elimination will take us down to 16, which means we have our final two tables. Well, that seems very on brand. They're going to be a reason. Yeah, I got in my pocket. I mean. $202,000 for Scott Stewart. Let's play with you, Scott. So, all, it was a pleasure. You Best sir. of luck. Well, well done. done. So, who's left? Well, with 16 players remaining. Thank you. Here's where things stand. Mark Perot and Florian Duta are in the danger zone. Danger zone! Platinum pass winners Ramon Kalilas and Pedro Padilla are also reasonably short. Meanwhile, Team Platinum's Mark Rivera is fifth in chips, just behind Griffin Benger. And Scott Baumstein has a commanding chip lead with nearly 12 million, nearly 100 big blinds. Next time, players put it all on the line in the hopes of making the final table. Four million. All in. All in. Takes a lot to kill me, I'm telling you. That's 50-50. Is it, yeah? Why do I think that doesn't mean ace in Portuguese? <laughs> you guys sit down over there. <laughs>